Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video I got some really interesting news for you guys. We're gonna start with this one. It's basically about Iris Kyle complaining about Arnold Classic not including all the women's divisions. Uh, so basically you can read this uh, whole text, this is actually a half of it. You can go to her Instagram and read the whole thing, but basically this one highlighted part says it all, basically, that's all she's saying. In case some of you guys don't even know who Iris Kyle is, she's a 10 times Miss Olympia in women's bodybuilding. She's basically a female Ronnie Coleman. So she says the absence of opportunities for women athletes to perform and compete alongside their male counterparts, it's not just disappointing, blah blah blah. So basically what she's saying is she wants to see all the female divisions even at the Arnold Classic. Now, if you check the comments of this post, all the comments every single one is positive every single one is supporting her there isn't a single comment disagreeing with her so basically you can get the idea that she's deleting comments that she's moderating this she's censoring what people can say or cannot say at her page she's not allowing anybody to disagree and that's okay that's fine that's why we have platforms like mine where you can say whatever the hell you want as long as you're somewhat respectful, you're not cursing, you're not offending anybody, your comments will stay there. So after you watch this part, you can tell me down below what do you think. Now, now, this is where fun begins. Bob Chicarillo, the athlete's rep, had a response to this. So as you can see, he made a video, he says Arnold raises the Arnold Classic Men's Open prize to 500k in 2025. Sorry, ladies, you don't need a bump. <laughs> I thought it was a savage title, but he's actually very respectful in the video, he explains everything exactly the way it is, it all makes a lot of sense, the entire video is 4 minutes long, but I'll show you the part where he talks about this, but I'm gonna cut it short for you guys so you can get the idea of what he said basically in this video. Oh, glad he can increase the prize money for the guys, what about us? Our division isn't even there, what about us? This isn't fair, what's fair, what's equitable? Listen, especially some of the ladies divisions, okay? This is a big Business first and foremost. At the NPC level, two thirds of the, of the divisions are women. When you get to the pros, every division except for the bodybuilding division, classic physique is bodybuilding. They wear different shorts, but it's still bodybuilding. Men's Open and Classic are the two biggest breadwinners that we have in at the pro level. 95, and I'm being nice with this, might be higher, 95% of the people that are there are there for the Open. That's a fact. Again, folks, I work behind the scenes on this stuff. Trust me. As as a promoter, and I've done that as well, you got to put your eggs into a basket that's going to have an ROI, a return on investment. When you get to women's physique, women's bodybuilding, wheelchair, even men's physique, there's less and less interest. All right, all right, you heard Bob G. Carrillo. He does make a lot of sense. Uh, so basically what he says first is that what is fair and what is equitable? Bodybuilding is a business. I mean, especially in the pro league, especially these high-level shows, there is a lot of money involved. It's not like NPC, it's totally different. Like he says, 95% of people who are buying tickets and paying for the pay-per-view are not there for any other division aside from men's open and classic physique. And I'm really glad that he said that classic physique is also bodybuilding, which I completely agree with. Even though those guys are not as big as the open guys, they usually bring even better conditioning. So sometimes it can be even more interesting to watch that to see how guys can get shredded. But yeah, once again, like Bob said, 95% of people who are there are there for those two divisions. They're not there for men's open, for wheelchair, for women's fitness, figure, wellness, bikini, bodybuilding, or I don't know how many divisions are there. So everybody's basically over there for bodybuilding and classic. And as Bob said, he was generous with 95%. I would, I would believe that the numbers are higher, like 98, 99%. There are people who are interested in men's physique or in bikini and stuff like that, don't get me wrong, there are, but those people are usually not hardcore bodybuilding fans, they're casual fans, they're not paying for the tickets or for the pay-per-view. Most of us who are there are super bored when all the divisions are happening and we're just waiting for the main event, that's always how it is and I'm sure 99% of you will agree with me. However, like my girlfriend competes in bikini and I love the fact that there is an opportunity for her to compete. I love the fact that there is an opportunity for pretty much everybody to compete, but I absolutely understand the business perspective and also from a viewer, from a fan perspective, I understand, I like the fact that there weren't as many categories in the Arnold Classic. I love that, if I'm being perfectly honest. 
So basically, I get what Aris Kyle is saying. Somebody should be saying that stuff. Somebody should be fighting for these girls and for other divisions. But, you know, she doesn't really have a proper argument. Everything else is just pointing to her being wrong. Are you even listening to me right now or are you just watching the video? Just checking? <laughs> Anyways, this is the prize money that was awarded to the winners. And it's very interesting that Fitness International actually got $25,000. Which is a lot more than men's physique and bikini. And a lot more than wellness. Which I don't even understand why is that. In my opinion, Fitness here will be the last. I would definitely give more money to wellness. And then to bikini. And then, in the end, to men's physique. But I guess... Or something like this, but I don't think fitness is above all these categories. It just doesn't make sense to me. If you guys have any idea why, tell me down below. Here's also the new prize money for the Dubai show. Men's Open got up to 100,000. Classic went up to 60,000, just like Arnold Classic, more than Mr. Olympia. Guys, more than Mr. Olympia. Mr. Olympia is like 40 or 50k. So both Arnold Classic and Dubai are awarding more money to Classic. That should change. They should definitely give more money to classic guys. Yeah, I know Chris Bumster is not there for the paycheck, but still. It's, it's just a bad look. There is a lot of interest in classic physique. And then man's physique is getting $40,000, which is basically the same money Chris Bumster is getting for winning the Mr. Olympia. Is that equal? Does that make sense? Absolutely not. Mr. Olympia should change something. They have so many divisions... They have to spread their money apart, and these guys who are actually deserving more money, they're not getting enough. They're not getting what they're worth. And Arnold Classic changed that. As you can see, Dubai is doing a great job as well. And I'm not saying that Mr. Olympia should cut divisions. Definitely not. All the divisions should be at the Mr. Olympia. You should have an opportunity to be the best in the world at something. If there are NPC shows, there should be an Olympia show. But as far as money, they should just give more money to everybody. I'm pretty sure Jake Wood can do it. We'll see if he can or not. And there was another very interesting thing that Bob Chicarillo said in this video. He was speaking about the fact that Arnold Classic increased the prize money. So here's what he has to say about Mr. Olympia giving out less money than Arnold and what the MPC, what the IFBB Pro League establishment thinks about that. The IFBB is a sanctioning body. This isn't our fight. This is your fight. Listen, Arnold, Olympia, you guys want to duke this out and keep bumping each other up and outdoing each other? Good for everybody. But they don't have to take a stance. They're not going to take a stance, okay? I'm telling you this right now because there's no reason to. The IFBB sanction shows all over the world. So uh, good for them and good for everybody, right? I don't see this being a, a negative in any way, shape, or form. Alright, yeah, it makes perfect sense. IFBB shouldn't care about this. It's good for everybody, that's for sure. As long as Mr. Olympia follows up. As long as they don't stay at those $400,000 for the Open winner and $40,000 for the Classic winner. I hope they're gonna increase their prize money, but we'll see about that. Also, Bob says, I didn't, I didn't film this video, but he says that we should remember that Arnold is a qualifier for the Mr. Olympia. So... Arnold Classic is never gonna be as good as Mr. Olympia in that sense, but if they keep increasing money, if they go up to like 1 million and Mr. Olympia stays at 400,000, maybe some bodybuilders will just focus on winning the Arnold Classic because they can win a lot of money, a lot more money. So maybe some of them are not focused that much on the title, they're more focused on making money. So, you know, at some point, maybe Arnold Classic is gonna have higher quality of competitors. It's not impossible. But anyways, guys, back to Iris Kyle and what she had to say, you know, I get her, it makes sense, but, you know, from a fan perspective and from a business perspective, it makes sense that Arnold Classic excluded some of these divisions. Personally, I think it's a good thing, but, you know, I get the other side as well. Whatever you guys think, though, just please tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, just subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.